now from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Right, for a couple of nice quiet days to start the week, we have a couple of uh, warmer, more humid and unsettled days on the way before it just turns hot and dry Friday. And then we deal with more numerous showers and storms to start the weekend. But today, a very comfortable start. 54 the low, but we soared to 85. That's 7 above normal, but the humidity was still nice and low. That's going to be changing over the next 24 hours. Highs today, low to mid 80s. Now, these will be similar numbers to what we'll see tomorrow, maybe a little cooler, but with the added humidity, it will feel a little more uncomfortable. We're not talking real humid air, but dew points looks like we'll be returning to the uh, lower 60s. And right now, live first warning Doppler radar is dry. That will be changing shortly after sunrise tomorrow morning, and I'll show you more on that in just a second. Right now, a partly cloudy sky over the Owensboro Riverfront on our roofclaim.com tower camera. Downtown Owensboro, or Evansville, I should say, our superior egg tower camera with a temperature of 71. The dew points creeping up now to 55. Winds are calm and we're in the upper 60s to around 70. We'll wind up tomorrow morning around 60 degrees before these showers and thunderstorms arrive. And they're brewing off to our west right now. A line of strong to severe storms draped across the central portions of Kansas. A couple of severe thunderstorm watches with numerous warning polygons there in bright yellow. Now this lead batch of storms in west central Illinois, that's going to pass more to our north overnight. But all this is going to organize and then dive to the southeast and move into our area in a weakening fashion after daybreak tomorrow morning. So far, not a lot of damage reports with these storms. A few tornadoes this afternoon, but mainly in open areas. And then just spotty damage of some uh, wind uh, reports, uh, mainly up here along the uh, Missouri-Iowa uh, border. So there are the storms now. The main one's still back here near Kansas City. And then as we head through the overnight, We'll see these showers and thunderstorms increasing. A marginal level one threat for an isolated severe storm tomorrow with the batch coming in in the morning and then anything that redevelops in the afternoon. And here's how our future tracker model handle, handles it. By 7 a.m., leading edges into our western fringe at 7 a.m. So we may get the morning commute in without too much stormy weather in the metro. It's going to be a close call. Uh, latest guidance slowing it down a little bit. By 9 a.m., that lead wave kind of falls apart and then the main wave comes in during the mid to late morning hours. There's a cluster of stronger storms moving right into the metro along and north of the river at 11 a.m. That quickly moves to the east. Some sun comes out. High temperatures will be in the low 80s, but again, more humid than it was today. And then as that pulls away to the east, this is at noon, the front's going to be draped across western Kentucky. Sun comes out. It's unstable, but the upper level support is gone. So I'm not quite sure how much new development we're going to see down here. Our latest model run really doesn't develop anything at all for the rest of the day. But if we do see something develop, and other models say we will, there could be an isolated severe weather threat there also. Future Tracker very late in the afternoon has a few showers in western Kentucky, then brings a more organized patch in by daybreak on Thursday. Those would likely not be severe, but we'll have those to start the day. We break to a mix of sun and clouds on Thursday as it turns warmer, and then another batch of scattered storms track more across our northern counties late Thursday afternoon. Once those are out of here, we've got a dry Thursday night and Friday on the way, which is going to be hot and borderline humid with highs Friday afternoon right around 90 degrees. So overnight clouds increase around 60 for the low. Scattered showers and storms coming in from the west in the morning. Isolated severe storm possible. Those will diminish, give way to some sun. Turns windy 80 to 86 with perhaps a few more storms developing in the afternoon, especially in western Kentucky. Isolated severe weather threat there also. Tomorrow night some scattered thunder showers and then as we head through the rest of the week, seven day forecast will have highs into the mid to upper 80s Thursday. Day with scattered thunder showers continuing. Friday, partly cloudy, very windy and hot, but dry. The high around 90. The new guidance slowing the front down on Saturday. So right now, it may just be scattered showers and thunderstorms slowly developing. We may keep the morning somewhat dry. Rain chances increase throughout the day, perhaps a severe weather threat. And then the showers and thunderstorms peak late Saturday, ending hopefully early Sunday before sunrise. We see some clearing later in the day as it turns windy and much cooler with a high on Sunday of only 69 degrees. But be sure to tune in uh, on Daybreak. Uh, Ron and Joe will be tracking those storms and let you know how they're going to impact your morning drive. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. Thanks a lot, Wayne.